Uh, he has a Ganesha man on, in the UK on GTA SXJ. And I've been working on this uh, solo car duplication glitch that's been around for a while and I've made it more solid, more reliable with a couple of little tweaks. I'm sure you guys will appreciate that because it'll help you make more money. And I'm going to show you what to do from here. Right, over there, blue circle, it's a stunt race. It's in the East Los Santos Customs. Over near the uh, curly flyover bits. And what we're going to do is drive through that. And as we could drive through it, we're going to trigger it by pressing right on the D-pad and diving out of the car. That ain't really necessary, but I like doing it because it, it is stupid and funny. And here we go, here we go, we just cancel out of that, come back again. And we'll see our original car over there. And that will be bricked. I've had instances where that isn't bricked. I've had instances where that, the dupe, is... Uh, accessible obviously and this one is accessible the original as well but this one is in uh, in particular is bricked so we're going to go over and take the duplicate we're going to jump in that and take it over to one of our apartments and do the uh, blue circle test which is break off the door step straight out into the blue circle go inside your garage come straight out and see if the blue door has come back onto the vehicle like I say this has been around for a while so most of it you'll know how to do you newcomers, I'll be showing you every step anyway. But there's a couple of little tweaks to it that I've done that I think help cement the, the duplication into the game and make it more reliable. So a lot of people have been complaining, including myself actually, that the second dupe that they take into Los Santos Customs and the master that was left outside disappears. So I've been working on this, trying to find a way around it, and I think this is the best method on how to do it. Okay, we've gone in, come back out again, and the door has respawned back onto the vehicle. So we know this is a really good lobby. Generally, you want to look for a lobby where you've got 27 players upwards in your session. And then we see we've got 30 in this one, plus the door has um, come back onto the car, plus the car duplicated at the blue circle, the race stunt race that we tested on. So it's looking very good and we're going to continue now. Take it into Las, Los Santos Customs. Not going to do anything. Just going to drive in and back out. Again, just to register that we want this car and we want to keep it. We're telling the game we want to keep this car. It means so much to us. We love it so much. So we're in here. We're just going to back out. Do nothing. Don't upgrade it. Don't, don't repair it or anything. There we come, now we just want to call up and get a job from Simeon. You can use Ron or you can use Martin. Each of those missions put you back in the same spot if, when you cancel out. What can I help you with? No problem, so coming right Simeon. up. And something different I do here is as we drive into LSC is hit the start button. And that allows you to roll straight in. And then we can position the car halfway in, halfway out of the shutters. A little bit more in than out if you can, because that will pretty much guarantee you a, uh, a jump straight into the modding menu inside when you go in. No cutscene of driving in at all. So we don't know, we're just going to start the Simeon job mission that he's just sent us. Cancel out that. And as usual, go around, jump back into the car. Floor the uh, gas, hit right. To modify and it'll jump you straight into here if you've parked it right on the outside and all we want to do here we're just testing at this stage this is a sentinel xs by the way it's one of the best cars to use we're just going to change the color now to something cheap primary color gloss nice very exciting gray color just going to change it to that come outside see if the duplicate has happened on this instance wait for the little circle to come up on the bottom right as well a little yellow circle have a look around slowly, there's nothing there, but that's not a problem. That happens in the best of lobbies, don't let that deter you. I'm just going to drive around, do the same thing again. Drive in towards the shutters when they're open, drive in, but hit the start button to bring up your main menu as we're going in. And then exit that and just reverse back and park your car half in and out of the garage. Bring up the phone again, bring up that same job from Simeon. 
actually I'm just checking because I thought I'd noticed someone might have sneaked in here before but it's not it's just a staircase inside the customs looks like there's a little car in there or something so hope the area is still clear just call up Simeon start the job and cancel out the trouble is when there's people nearby you doing this it can affect your outcome of doing a duplication so you want to do it with no, no other players around preferably jump in hit right on the or press accelerator r2 and ps4 and touch right on the d-pad and uh, we'll, go, we'll go straight in that time we showed the cutscene anyway so we missed a little hyper jump but anyway we're in just want to change the color because we're still just testing we're not going to upgrade the car yet Changes the colour, that also changes the number plate, which makes the car unique. Wait for the little yellow circle to do its thing, turn around, and then we've got our first duplicate. So we know that's working, that's brilliant. What we want to do now is just damage this car in some way, so we're just going to take the door off. This car I refer to as the master car now, because this is the one we're going to keep and actually modify and do up put our money into again hit the start button as we drive in I'm not doing it up at the moment we're just testing the second part of the test that is that the master will stay stay put and be there when we go out and come back in again I'm also just kicking everyone from the lobby now doing the uh, date and time Glitch, we go into the PS4 dashboard, change the date and time to a year in advance, like 2018, come back, the game will be frozen, go back to your PS4 dashboard, change it back to 2017, come back to uh, GTA, and everyone will get kicked. So you're still effectively in a solo public lobby. Let's take this dude, pop it over there. So after doing this, it's not important, but we just want to test that the master car will stay there, stay put. And there it is, still inside. Okay, it's not actually good. We can actually now upgrade the car fully, put all our money into it. We're fairly positive now, everything's good gone inside come out and that duplicate is still sitting there so all the indicators are good so we may proceed so back inside you just want to max this baby out now fully mod modify it put the most expensive of everything on it windows don't tint the windows you don't get any money back from that um, Neons, as far as I'm aware, you don't get any money from those either, and they, they cost quite a lot, so don't waste your money on them either. Everything else, an upgrade. Paint as well, I believe. Paint doesn't, so there's no point in putting on a chrome or any expensive colours, because that, that doesn't really add to the value. Okay, so we've done the usual. Hit the start button as driving in. That allows us to get in and back out perfectly in line with the shutters. Call up Simeon and do the uh, mission and cancel out. One of these days I'll actually do a Simeon mission <laughs> rather than just using him for this purpose. Okay, so run back to the car when you come back from it. Jump in, take it in. And we just want to change the colour. Always change your colour. Whatever car you bring in here, just change the colour. Get in the habit of doing that. Respray. Changes the number plate, makes the car unique. So we've got a fully modified Sentinel XS now. Worth about 200,000. Wait for the little yellow circle. There we go, we've got confirmation that the GTA has done its thing. And there we go. So I'm just going to take the door off this car. I'll do a couple just to show that it does work. And what the procedure is. You soon realise at what point you loop the instructions. We want to keep this so we drive it in, hit the pause button again, get inside and we want to stick it up against that red box there. And 
then we want to go back out of the duplicate and take it back inside LSE and put a tracker on it. So we're just going to take this, put a track on it. I think I'll respray it as well, just for the hell of it. I always do that. Like I say, I was getting the habit of spraying every car we bring it in here and doing this. Yeah, I didn't really want to cover the. Um, I know there's the uh, world's finest gamer, Jupe at the moment. He worked in tandem with uh, Freight Train and Brutango um, to get the Xbox One version working. But it's been a mess, really, to be quite honest. It's been a bit of a bit of a letdown. All the hype built up around it, and when it did come out, you're not making much more money than you are with doing this. To be quite honest, this new method that I found that's more reliable. You're making slightly more and there's a whole lot of hassle comes with it as well and you need two players and on top of all of that it seems that rockstar or or somebody is reporting all these jobs that are coming up and being used the triggers in the lobbies because they're all getting taken down from social club so people can't even do the glitch that's out at the moment i even made one myself i made a uh, a race on creator and put it out there to help you guys on the ps4 when I heard all the others were getting taken down, I had a trigger in the 10 car garage and that. But that, I've done that last night and this morning when I woke up, checked Twitter and stuff, and I went on PS4, uh, GTA, and it was gone. So somebody's really hot on stopping this from succeeding, this this new Jupe by WFG that's out. I'll say no more about that. What's wrong with her now? Anyway, here we are, we're back in with the um, Jupe Cup, just going to stick a tracker on it. Oh, well, we did that, didn't we? Sorry, lost track. Yeah, there's a duplicate outside. Put a tracker on that. Gone back inside and got the uh, the master. We changed the colour on that. Repaired it. Changed the colour. And we're going to do the same thing again now. The pulls go through into LSC. Out of pulls. Out of pulls. Start button. And back up to the shutters here. Park half in and out, more in than out if possible to help you jump straight into the uh, mod shop. Start the simian job. Okay, so straight out of that and jump straight back into this master. Then you go, hit right on the D-pad and uh, jump straight in, no cutscene. So change the primary colour. I'm out, wait for the little yellow circle to do its thing. Some people look straight around, say so it's not necessary to wait, but I'd do anyway, I like to. It works for me. And there we go, we've got a second tube. So at this stage, you've pretty much covered your money now. You're getting your money back, so anything goes wrong at all, which you shouldn't do if you follow my new method, uh, then you won't lose your money. And everything after this is clear profit, clear money. So there's our second duplicate sitting out there. We've got our personal vehicle with a tracker on sat against the wall on the left. Just going to park this up inside. Go outside and then we want to jump in obviously the new duplicate. Take it in, put a tracker on it, change the colour. And you see our first personal vehicle has been shoved into one of our garages because we can't have two personal vehicles out. And there we go. We keep doing that now. I hope this has helped you out. Not everyone had trouble with it, but I did. And it needed changing, so I've done my best with it. Made it much more solid and reliable. And we'll keep working on it as well. See how we can improve it and do other things with it. I'm sure there's more life to this glitch. So keep uh, get subscribed if you're not. Press the little bell next to subscribe to get instant notifications of my videos. And I'll be back soon with more info. All right, take care. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.